Hey, and my mom was white, and I love white people because they pay on time. Where do you get all these white people from? Oh, man, yeah. they just, yeah. I mean, it was Chocolate City, now it's white Chocolate City. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's, yeah. it's, 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 they're coming through the hood and bikes. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Bike racks in South Beach. I'm here. I'm riding through. Skateboards oh, in the hood. Yeah. yeah. Pogo sticks. You don't really, I, you know, I'm not used to seeing skateboarders at Anacostia train no. station. Yeah. That, that really, I had to go to counseling when I saw that. <laughs> I had to go to see a therapist. When I saw white people on bikes going through Anacostia Station, that wow. moved me. But I'm happy because it's changing the city. But you know, uh, hey, it's, it is what it is. But the city does look good. That's what it is. It's beautiful. We man, I love the way DC looks. Yeah, it's, it's, right. It's, it's gorgeous. It is. So, David. <laughs> <laughs> People who don't know who David Edwards is, you know, please tell the people a little bit about yourself. All the viewers out there in DV Talk Land, all out there in, in WLV S Land, please tell the people a little bit about yourself. Well, first and foremost, I'm a stand up comedian. I happen to do some things. I was the first person that ever been thrown off of reality television twice. Mm. What's that? Uh, the real world? Yeah, the real world. <laughs> that was you? Yeah, I made mean, Tammy hot on the street. Remember? You did? Yeah, I took that blanket off and showed that body, and now she's on basketball wise. <laughs> Oh, you can't. <laughs> I made you hot on the street. It was royalties. That's right. I just got I showed her how to be bad, and that's why she's cutting up on West basketball. Do you want to hear something very funny? We do. Both our daughters go to school together in Los Angeles at Beverly Hills High School. Same graduation class, wow. and they take over. They're best friends. How's that working out? They're good. Her mama is my neighbor. Wow. And she lives four blocks down the street. You just can't get away from them, okay? I, I saw her at Kiko's in the Los Angeles, and she's like, Dave, I have to take pictures with you. I need to calm your, my Twitter down. Wow. So I need to take pictures with her. You know? Hey, she, she, hey, do your thing, Tammy. So so how did you, what was you doing first? Did you get into just doing comedy, stand-up comedy first, or did you get into movies first? Um, I got into stand-up comedy first. I started when I was 15, 16 years old. And, um, what clubs was, was you getting in at 15, 16 years old uh, doing was comedy? a club called Garvin's Comedy Club. Here you got a Richard Pryor Pry story, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Comedy <laughs> Cafe. Uh, uh, Archie Balls is still there, I believe. Wow. The strip club on, down there on K Street, or by K Street, by the White House. Yeah, you know, I started off there, and, uh, the comedy connection is no longer here. A lot of clubs, they're not even around anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, later, I started doing the improv and stuff. And then, you know, I finished high school. I moved to Chicago. Shout out to Chicago. All jokes aside, now called Jazz and Jokes. Everybody out there was going down. What Stayed there for a year and a half. Got on the Greyhound bus, went to Los Angeles. I was staying at the YMCA, uh -huh. and uh, Chappelle says, come over to my hotel room. I got, a, I got a surprise for you. So I go over there. And I'm like, okay, what a surprise. He says, I got a job for you. Yeah, you're going to love this job. I'm going to get you out the wild. They're going to put you in a mansion. There's going to be cameras everywhere, and they're going to pay you. And I'm wow. like, wow, where do I sign up at? I mean, what, what do I got to do? He says, well, I, I, well, first I was like, why don't they want you, Chappelle? He says, well, <laughs> <laughs> Why do they want you? <laughs> he says, well, I'm tied up with Disney. I cannot break the Disney deal. I try to get out of it, but I can't. But you, I can get you in. And I was like, okay, what do we have to do? Him and Barry Katz, his manager at the time, walked me into the office, set up the interview, and they gave me this application. Wow. We go back to his hotel room, get half-baked, and we sit <laughs> there. <laughs> Yeah, do it. Right? Uh, we read the, the interview process, the application, and one of the questions on there that made us laugh, we smoking a joint and we just laughing our ass off. Right? One of the questions that got me to show was, what is your ideal dream date? What is your ideal date? Uh huh. And we both just started laughing. Guess what, how I got to show my answer was? Uh. I fuck her and then she leaves. <laughs> And they told me that's why I got the show. Wow. And two days later, I had, remember when beepers were out? Uh -huh. <laughs> We used to be able to way to still do the, the pages and cell phones. Yeah, yeah. You call the pages. Mercury on pages. My beeper goes off. I run to a pay phone. It's MTV. And they go, if you want the show, you got it. We have to do some test shots. So they came back over to uh, Chappelle's Hotel. I borrowed it for a day. And they shoot me in there. And it goes, you got the job. Wow. And it was like something out of a movie because I remember my first day on the set, it was like The Matrix. It was like, when the people goes off, you're going to meet us at this place, we'll tell you. And we will be like, okay, okay, okay. I'm like, all right, just, just stay free. Well, I'm like at the YMCA, only got a $300 left. So free Hurry up. So they do, the people goes off again, I go to the payphone, 
beep, 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 and meet us in Venice Beach, this street, DJ, at this time. So I do, and they tell me to meet me in, in, in an alley. I'm in an MTV, no, in an alley. Production, in an alley, right? Wow. I'm in the alley, these vans come out of nowhere, like jump out. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, they put mics on me, and, and then the director goes, into that house, right? Now. And that's how it started. Yeah. Wow. That's, man. How it started. that's how I made television history. And, uh, you know, to a lot of people think I don't like Bun American Productions or MTV. I have nothing to love but Tammy and everybody because in life you have to embrace things because some things were meant to be. Right. Sure that. You know? And I watch reality television now. The stuff they're doing now. Yeah. You couldn't get away oh with that. Goodness. You couldn't get away with that. Oh, man. You ain't had no Jocelyn's on the no. show. No. 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 And then me and Punk had the, the mighty spit battle. Yeah. Wow. I had to tear his face up with the spit. They tried to edit it out because, you know, no black man has been shown on television spitting back on a white man. Luckily, <laughs> <laughs> MTV found out, subpoenaed the tapes, and they put it on the, the unreleased version, and they showed me spitting back. And, you know, I left again on that, on those terms. Then I was fortunate to do House Party 3, Half Big, Def Comedy Jam, uh, what else? Comic View, uh, Family Union, everybody has an Oscar, just one more thing. You know, so. Like, but I always loved stand up. And yeah. I went to school for directing. I just finished, just graduated. Last okay. Year. And now I'm back as a comedian and I'm combining all these skills and just trying to be the best that I can be. Trying to be like you, Wavy. <laughs> It's hard to be like that guy. He swim 24 seven hours, eight, 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 week, eight days a week. Hey, but yeah, though, um, what was the first movie role that you had got? I was party three, playing Stanky. Stanky. I was a guy Stanky. that liked the fat girls. Man! Yeah. Man, that's how I got girl, that love too. Guess how okay. I got that movie? How'd you, how you get to play Stanky? I heard about the audition, and I crashed it. They were like, um, excuse me, do you have an agency? And I made up an agency. Yeah, I mean, William Marks. He's like, okay. And, and I waited, so wait right there. And I waited, wait. I was like, oh my God, they're going to find out that that's not my real agency. Right? They're not going to let me in. He was like, okay, we're packed today, but I want you to come back tomorrow. And I went in and I smashed it. And Angela Means and um, some other people. And a uh, kid, actually, I saw a kid in the parking lot at the comedy store. I was like, hey, I'm going to read for you guys tomorrow. He was all arrogant. He was like, yeah, okay. And walked right by me. Right. I went and I smashed it so hard. Kid grabbed me, took me out for drinks that night. Right. I test screened again, nailed it. As a matter of fact, I returned the favor because kid comes to me. He goes, I mean, we're going to have some, we need someone to replace Robin Harris. I said, well, you've got to get Uncle Vesta. you got to get Bernie Mac. Right. Okay. And then they had the pimp role, Chris Tucker. And I was like, we having trouble finding somebody to play this pimp role. I said, you have to get Chris Tucker. Uh-huh. It was like, who's Chris? You have to get him. And I found Chris and I told him and I gave him the number and they found Chris and Chris went in and smashed it. Matter of fact, I saw Chris like six months ago before I left Los Angeles. I was like, hey, Chris, you owe me a favor. I put you in your first movie. I he got do. you that job. He, he goes, do. yes, I do. Yes, I have <laughs> Number he has yet to pick up the phone. Chris, <laughs> no, Chris we don't we don't appreciate that, Chris. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand though. Ice Cube trying to get a pick up the phone too. <laughs> I saw his last stand the man got tax problems. He said he was tax tour man. trying tax to get that tour. together, man. He said, I guess that's why he in the, the last Friday, whatever it's called. The Rothschild family is not playing with people. <laughs> 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 Rothschild <laughs> Jews are not playing, they want that dope. That's Everybody get tax trouble. Everybody, right. for Thanks. real. Even if you don't owe taxes, you in tax trouble. Yep, even though, who's that? If we just seen Benny Siegel outside get promoted, he about to go to jail for tax problems. <laughs> Everybody. For real. Everybody. Lauren right? Hill, they trying to put little Lauren in jail. She ain't been high since 98. Damn. For real. She got to go to jail for tax problems. Tax problems. Lauren Hill ain't been high since 98. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't make that Lauren Hill hot still face to me. <laughs> <laughs> 